Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this tutorial, we will see how we can use SAP HANA as a data source to the SAP Lumira. So we will see how we can connect using SAP HANA. So you can connect to SAP HANA modeling views in SAP Lumira which can be done in two different ways. The first one is you will connect to the live data on SAP HANA which is using the option connect to SAP HANA. After that you will have option of download from SAP HANA. So you can download the data set and you can use it in your SAP Lumira from SAP HANA. So let's see how you can use it. So I will go to the system where I have SAP Lumira installed. I will go to the file, new. Here I have two options that is connect to SAP HANA and then download from SAP HANA. So connect to SAP HANA will bring up the live data from SAP HANA whereas the download from SAP HANA will download the data from the SAP HANA view as a data set. So here I can see that in my recently used connections I have this option because I have used the SAP HANA as a data source previously as well. So you will be able to see all your recent connections in the all recently used connections. I will, I will click on connect to SAP HANA. I will go to next and here I have to select from the option. I have two options SAP business objects, BI platform and HANA. I will use HANA. Here I have to give the server which is my HANA server name and here you have to give the instance. So my instance is 03 and after that my username and the password I have to provide. If I want to save the password in the system, I can use this option of save password. Then you will click on connect. Once you will click on connect, you will be able to see the views which are created in SAP HANA. They are available to you in SAP Lumira. Now let's say if I want to use this sales analytic view to get the data in my SAP Lumira data set. I will select it and I will click on next. Once I will click on next, it will show me all the measures and the dimensions which are there into my SAP HANA view in this window. I can see that I have two major values that is the net amount and the tax amount into my data source. After that, under dimensions, I have all these dimensions which are available to me. So I can click here to see the sample values of it if I want. After that, I can deselect or select the values as per my requirement. So let's say if I don't want to use the currency, I can deselect this. If I don't want to use the customer ID, I can deselect it. So similarly, whatever I don't want into my data set, I will simply deselect in this window. And after that, I will click on create. So now it is scanning the source and it will bring up the data from the HANA view into my SAP Lumira. Here I can see that I have all these columns and all these distinct values of a particular column into my data set which was AN sales which is a analytic view from SAP HANA. So now I can see that I have all these measures and all these dimensions available to me to create the visualization. If I go to the visualize tab here, here again I can create the visualizations based on this data which I got from the SAP HANA view. Let's say if I want to add a measure value here, if I want to show the net amount and if I want to show the net amount by what? So let's say if I want to show the net amount by calendar month, I can choose it. Similarly, I can add, let's say if I want to add the calendar quarter. So I can see here that I am getting the data as per my calendar month and the calendar quarter. So I'm getting the net amount values as per my calendar month and my calendar quarter. Similar to this, I can create multiple visualizations in the visualize tab of SAP Lumira using the SAP HANA views. So in this tutorial, we have seen how we can connect to the SAP HANA to use the HANA views data into the SAP Lumira data set. Thank you.